killer queen. The usage of noun sequences of length 2 and more. Ambiguity of nouns phrases in English. I have a question about nouns triplets like sofa box container, and I'll formulate it at the end. I have some reasoning and I want to make sure I'm correct. First of all consider the following sample. Common sense helps understand the meaning of these words but I want to know the general rule for understanding the meaning of noun sequences. Spider-Man, a man who is also a spider. Killer Queen, a queen who is also a killer. Blade Runner, a man who runs on the blade. Tiger Lily, Lily of Tiger type. These are well-known examples. But I suppose the first two should be written with hyphen, Spider-Man, Killer Queen. Following the logic I tried to create sensible examples of two nouns combinations. Killer Queen, a queen of killers killers queen, a queen, who is killers killer queen, a killer who is also a queen queen killer, a queen who is also a killer queen killer, a killer of queens queens killer, a killer, who is queens. Blade Runner, 1, a runner who is like a blade, blade is adjective, 2, someone or something who makes the blade run blades runner, the runner of blades property blade runner, a blade who is a runner, blade and also a runner, runner blade, a runner who is a blade, runner and also a blade, runner blade, 1, something that blades, verb, a runner, 2, a blade of type runner, what kind of blade? Runner, runner's blade, a blade of runner's property. Suppose we have two nouns A and B, the possible combinations of these nouns are, a B A's B A B B A B's A B A. Now the question. How do I interpret combinations of length more than two? What does sofa box container mean? Is it boxes containing sofas or container of boxes where sofas were inside? And does sofa container box mean boxes which contain sofas or a box for a container of sofas? Any other versions? And finally, how do I say without prepositions the machines which contain databases? I'm so confused by noun sequences. Any help is greatly appreciated. Well, a sofa box container is a container intended to be used for holding sofa boxes, which are either boxes with sofas inside or boxes intended to be used for holding sofas. A sofa container box would be a box intended to be used for holding sofa containers, which is a container of sofas or intended to contain sofas. It's a little confusing since you have two containers. How about a butter knife factory? A factory, which is used to make knives which are used with butter. Basically, the first two words are linked first, then the third word is linked to them. By the way, I think you maybe should look up the slang definitions for both killer and queen, as I doubt that the person being talked about in the song is either a literal killer or a literal queen. With two nonverbal nouns, the first is usually describing the second. The most important aspect of killer queen is the fact that she's a queen. The killer part of the song is mostly about her looks and behavior, and shouldn't be taken literally, she's not the queen of killers, nor a member of the royal family. We're used to seeing adjectives there, red queen, for instance. So we automatically use the first word as a modifier of the second. Tiger lily is another good example. This is different when the noun has been derived from a verb. For instance, blade runner and flag bearer both have verbal nouns, where the subject is doing the verb to the first word. You can make sense of three-word combinations with a verbal noun in very easily, for instance. It's obvious that the verbal noun must apply to the word before. However, when you have three noun words, usually each is a modifier for the one that follows afterwards. For instance, We already know that tiger is a modifier of lily and killer modifies queen. Because your example contains a verbal noun, container, we know it must apply to the word before, a box. It's a container of boxes. Particularly, the boxes it contains are sofa boxes, as opposed to chair boxes. I don't know what a sofa box is, but I can still parse it. The other phrase you're looking for could be database container machine, but probably you'd just say database server. Hope that helps. English is not unambiguous, so there is no absolute rule. However, generally speaking the last noun is modified by the preceding nouns. So for box container, as container as the last word, so it refers to a container, and the type of container is one for a sofa box. When you hyphenate the meaning doesn't change much, so, from your example. Queen killer, a queen who is also a killer. 
is not correct. A queen killer is a person who kills queens. The hyphen just tightens the relationship. The emphasis is the same with the genitive, but the relationship is a little more ambiguous. Queen's killer can mean a lot of things, the two most obvious candidates being a killer who works for the queen or a person who killed the queen. Nonetheless, the rule still applies, it is a killer, and the type of killer is queens. So the bottom line is that usually the last word is the main word, the rest are modifiers. For your example, database containing machines would be appropriate, since the main subject is the machine, and the rest say what type of machine. In this particular instance though the idiom would be just plain database machines, or database servers. See also the Guardian Style Guides entry on the hyphen for some advice in this general area. In short drop a hyphen between two words if possible, wireless becomes wireless, and use a hyphen to avoid ambiguity, black cab driver or black cab driver. As to the question, how do I understand combinations of length more than two? If the writer has followed these rules it shouldn't be ambiguous. If the writer has written ambiguous text, use context to understand it. Failing that you'll have to try and find precedence. Failing even that, too bad, welcome to the wonderful confusing world of badly written English. If you want to support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing.